Well, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's David here. Welcome back to another Atlas News video. If you're new to the channel, I like to cover Atlas News. I have daily RPG video on the channel, specifically on Atlas stuff. Make sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell so you stay up to date on all the latest news. But today we have something very interesting, which is the announcement of a brand new Persona 5 game. Persona 5 The Phantom X. What I did is I went over the internet, I read a ton of articles, watched the trailers a bunch of times, I gathered all the information that I could, made it into one video, and it gives us this video. Here's everything that you need to know about Persona 5 X, Persona 5 The Phantom X. Let's get into it, y'all. A quick thumbs up if you like the video is always a big help. So this game is a mobile game. It was officially announced like two years ago called Codename X. Uh, back then, we didn't know Atlas was involved. We didn't know uh, Sega was involved. We had no idea if this was like a Chinese ripoff game or if this really was an official thing. But if, clearly, there was doubts, right? That was official. So as I mentioned, it is a mobile game in the Persona 5 universe. There is a, a beta coming to an Android and PC as well. Maybe there's hope for a PC version at some point. Nothing's confirmed. For now, it's Android and iOS, but we don't know about PC. Maybe it happens. The beta's on PC as well, though. March 29th for the beta. What's interesting with this game is it's getting created and developed by Perfect World Games, which is a Chinese mobile game developer. But there's Atlas involvement, and we'll, we'll go deeper in what they're doing here with the project, but there's Atlas and Sega developed. Sega basically licensed the IP Persona 5 to perfect world games for this game and atlas is involved they're supervising the project so p studio is kind of involved we don't know more information than that but they seem to be involved in this project specifically um in just a second we'll go over the persona central site that they did they have all the art up on screen we know what right now you're watching the trailers and stuff uh there's the cast of characters from persona 5 coming back like uh characters that we know like the phantom thieves of course are back uh igor in the velvet room is back as well uh, but they have original characters, like a, a very, very interesting stuff for sure. You will be able to explore dungeons like in Persona 5 or palaces specifically. Uh, you will have your daily life stuff, like go to the movies, play sports and stuff. That's all there as well. I assume we're going to have social stats, calendar system, all that good jazz. So I have to be honest, it really piqued my interest regardless of it, it being a mobile game there is an official story here for this game so very very interesting stuff let's go into the um the persona central site now so we can look at more photos and information together all right so here it is we are on the persona central site all my sources are always linked in the description as well if you guys want to check out the articles for yourself article here from reggie so they basically go over some uh basic information about the reveal but i want to look at the pictures themselves the official pics so here it is as you see they have like they really have the style they have like a self-shaded self-shaded style they want to make this game very visually appealing and i think that's the that's the goal for mobile games this is our new protagonist y'all this is our new protagonist here it is or here is it a male female i have no idea we'll call them they for now um i like it i like what i'm seeing i really am liking what i'm seeing what's great about this protagonist y'all our man did it uh drew him it is sojima the, the the designer behind this character and uh you can see the 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 the, the similarities obviously that's sojima's style the uh the, the artist behind persona basically so really really cool stuff a new mascot as well a morgana replacement we can see them in the train station memento here so here yeah as you can see perfect world sega atlas it's official stuff it's really cool some of the some of those pictures are unlocked through um their site, the Persona 5 The Phantom X site, if you complete some type of mini game, uh, you will have access to those photos yourself as well. So here's another character, or another, another look at the main character. That is our Velvet Room assistant. Merope is the name. Hi, Merope. Glad to meet you. <laughs> Very cool there. That is our main persona here. I like it a lot. So here it is, the new protagonist and his new persona. So it is a male character. Main character designed by Shigenori Soijima. Very, very cool stuff there. Another new character here. It reminds me of um, Ifumi from Persona 5 a little bit. Very, very dope stuff. We have the trailers as well. So yeah, here's what they said. A metaverse live at night. The world changes with different teams where players summon personas to engage in high energy battles against enemy. 
it is the photos that we have for this game again there's two trailers there is a story trailer a gameplay trailer you've seen snippets of both of them uh, early on in the video that is some type of social link stuff i assume new areas original new areas that look like the real deal you guys it looks like a real new palace that you would see in persona 5 royal 2 or something <laughs> here you have the classroom setting and all of that here's the velvet room which looks really different they're calling this another world that's mementos and more art this looks really good you guys i like what i'm seeing and i, I know what you guys are gonna say it's a mobile game and stuff and, and i want to talk more i want to talk more so it is a free-to-play mobile game obviously is atlas giving away gifts here are they like gonna just give us a new game and here it is enjoy it it's full new game and stuff no they want to make money they're a big corporation of course it's normal what they're going to do is they're gonna have microtransactions and dlcs and all that stuff it's not even confirmed but it's easy to come up with that conclusion. I wonder what online features are going to be for this game that was not confirmed. Are you going to be able to like play with your friends and stuff? It really does look like a, a solo game, like a, a game that you play solo or something. So it's interesting. I'm really curious to see more about this one. An official release date was not confirmed, but the game seems to be deep in development. The, be the beta is about to come out. So I fully expect this game to be playable in the near future. Uh, it's Persona 5. Clearly, when you look at it, it's it has a big budget for a mobile game. I fully expect this game to be localized. As of the recording of this video, it's March 17th, 8 a.m. There is no official Atlas West uh, tweets or uh, trailers uploaded or something. So no official localization for now. It's a game from China. So I fully expect the game to be coming for you for sure, you guys. Uh, this this perfect world game studio they made decent mobile games before i'm not a mobile gamer i'm not someone who my my opinion on mobile game is not worth much because i have no experience with them this one looks interesting it's persona it's persona 5 it's peak in my opinion in terms of gaming so i will check this one out as well i'll try to find a way to record gameplay for you guys so i can show you but this is pretty much all that we know so no confirmation for consoles for now uh, we know that Atlas is involved, which is good news, no release date, and we just need more information, but that is all that we know so far. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think of Persona 5, the Phantom X. I'm very excited, for, to be perfectly honest. This looks interesting. This looks different. This is original stuff and i'm here for it new characters new designs and all that stuff i'm gonna keep watching the trailers and we'll talk more about this game in the near future for sure y'all thank you so much for watching have a great weekend see you next time bye